eczema. You want to know two herbs that can give you some relief? Stay tuned. Welcome to my eczema vlog. Um, I'm Takayu, and I'm like you. I'm an eczema sufferer, and I've suffered many years off and on, even though I've had some remedies. But eczema is sort of like being an addict, tell the truth. Once you have eczema, you always have eczema. It's not like it totally goes away. It is your sensitivity to certain things, environment, stress, foods, etc. So you have to be vigilant. You have to be kind of on top of it. You have to be on top of it as far as um, regularly eating certain foods that help to um, reduce inflammation as well as reducing your stress, keeping your stress levels down because that also aggravates eczema and um, external applications, you know, like specifically for me, you know, fragrances, and perfumes and dyes, that's a definite allergen and I'll react to lots of things so you know take do the process of elimination and figure out your allergies and um, today I'm going to share with you two external herbs that you can use to relieve the symptoms of a flare-up that's when you've gotten aggravated and then you start breaking out you know if you have eczema you know what I mean um, it gets very raw and you get little little bumps and it's just aggravatingly itching and unbearable so first off uh, what I usually do if you're really having a bad flare-up first you can take a nice bath put some baking soda and magnesium sulfate Epsom salt and a little lavender so lavender is one of the herbs so the first herb is lavender after you take that bath then you can I'll just show you some of the stuff I use tea tree and lavender. Now you can use both, you can use one or the other, and I'll tell you the difference. Lavender is my favorite. It's very soothing and calming. It heals and it's not very harsh while it's healing. However, um, sometimes if it's really bad, I may put the oil directly on my skin, but I recommend mixing with water. And what I do is I take an empty bottle like this, I fill it about 90% water and then you can use about one full dropper like one of these long droppers full of oil and say about this much this much oil here to that much water that's about 95% water and just dab it in your hands and then rub like on your face your neck wherever, wherever the eczema is rub that on you and this will soothe the eczema it's a uh, it's it's a good remedy for a quick relief if you're really like just oh my god just freaking out and you're just flaring up that's a good remedy this one is more soothing don't mind the noise it's raining I think it's a thunderstorm actually coming but um this one is soothing lavender and it smell the aroma is a lot more pleasant to others tea tree believe it or not I like the smell of tea tree oil but some people don't like the smell so when my husband's home, I'll use lavender because he doesn't like the smell. But um, I'm kind of weird with herbs, certain herb smells I like. But you do the same thing with tea tree. However, be forewarned, tea tree works a little more aggressively. Therefore, if you have the outbreak, it will dry the skin. You know, it will, it will really become dry, dried up, almost like a scab. And um, to relieve that, you use coconut oil. Rub the coconut, like put the tea tree oil, like how I explained, put the lavender, and let that dry, and then rub a little coconut oil. You don't have to saturate it, but if it's really bad, you can saturate it, but sometimes too much coconut oil will make you start itching because you're clogging your pores, pores again. But a little coconut oil, and then I'd say if it's a really bad outbreak, do this every two to six hours, depending on how bad it is. And you will literally start to see the healing take take effect um, within hours and I did this a few times when I had major outbreaks and uh, I always always make sure I have lavender and tea tree is second so try this out you guys 
Tell me how you like it. Tell me, did it work for you? Tell me what you do for um, uh, flare-ups. How do you relieve the itching? How do you soothe it? Because sometimes it can be unbearable. And you can't even sleep. It's just miserable. So this is what I do to help my flare-ups when um, I've had an outbreak. Because I know I've told you before, like certain foods, certain things you can eat. But sometimes it also sneak up on you because stress. Because before this, I went on a trip, I was eating the right stuff and everything. And I think I was under stress. And I started breaking out and I could not figure out why. And I realized stress is also a culprit. So, again, tell me how you like it. Tell me what you do. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm creating a eczema food menu. Subscribe to my mailing list so you can get that. And thanks for watching. Temple